starting for the Ateneo Blue Eagles. At guard, number six, standing 5'7", Al Haynes and Olio. And the other guard, number 14, standing 6'3", Larry Bonachev. Center, number 13, Layford Otto. Standing 6'5", forward, number 7, Stacey and Tom, standing 6'4". And the other forward, number 21, standing 6'5", Paolo Bolquilla. And their head coach, Sandy Arisbabochaga. Our official to this ball game, Sally Zagu, Tak Zapesa, Roel Tolentino, and the alternate, John Esplada. Clark Nescafe starting five, a truly great game coming up here, part of the Sunday showdown at the Big Dome. And as you saw earlier, Coach Bong Arroyo, Galing, uh, well, galing na rin sa atin, ano? galing na rin sa lahat. Get well soon. Okay, Coach Lito Vergara. That's correct, it's usually the third playing game that Coach Lito Vergara will not be calling the shots for UP, but uh, Coach Bonoyo hopes that he will finally be able to give UP its first win in the 67th season of the UAA. You know, for the Blue Eagles coming into this game undefeated at 3-0, to zero, for confidence level is very high, not only for the players, but I would have to say for debuting coach Sandy Araspacochaga. That's correct. And to think that this team struggled mightily in their PPL outing. That's right. A big turnaround, of course, helped by their first win against De La Salle to usher the season. And UP draws first blood via the fast break, courtesy of Jerez. Ibanez, Jairi, 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 Jairi Ibanez. I really look at you need to start out well because in the previous three losses that they've had, napakabagal nung kanilang simula. They've always played catch-up basketball mm -hmm. against the three teams that they have uh, first played here. And uh, nahahabol naman nila, pero kulang na kulang na yung Sa finishing dulo. kick nila. Sa dulo talaga. And maybe that's also part of what they miss from Coach Lito Vergara, the guidance during those close games as we showed you an amazing fast break brought to you by Milo. Jairi Ibanez finishing it off. Ford Otto is blocked, but Punasher with the first three-point play of the ball game. This is how dangerous Larry Punasher can be. He can hurt you in so many ways. Talaga namang uh, looking good this season si Larry Punasher. Graduating player of uh, Ateneo. Out to give Ateneo another title after a second place finish in the 6-6 season. And we did say that uh, in the first game that they played against La Salle, um, when I covered that with, I think, Randy Sakdala, the improvement, the steady improvement of numbers per year. Larry Ponacher, although he mocks the free throw, which makes us look bad, but <laughs> it's all right. We are tied at two. UP versus Ateneo. UP in white maroon, and Ateneo in white blue and white. They go downstairs, and Tenorio breaks up that play. Eludes Marvin Cruz. What about that matchup? Oh, what a pass. LA Tenorio finding Pugia or Ford Arrow inside. I remember Professor Randy Sakdalan pointing out the evolution and uh, maturity level of LA Tenorio. Before he would look to shoot first and pass second, but now he look for his teammate first, then he look, look for his shot. But they put the Avi Santos getting the roll on that sequence. I wanted to point out the matchup between Marvin Cruz and LA Tenorio. And it would have been better if Marvin Cruz were 100%. <laughs> oh, you know, that, two speedsters going at it here at the Big Dome. He has had a slow start. Let's see here, L.A. Tenorio. Wow. With that pinpoint pass to Clifford Arrow. Under that, this is two-pointer. Nice pass. That cool as ice assist was brought to you by Nesca, uh, Nesca Bay Ice. Do the move. Bonacher coming out of the staggered screen. J.C. Intal, who has looked to post up in season 67, Ronnie. Definitely. With the departure of Rich Alvarez, and of course, Enrico Villeneuve has been left to Paulo Pugia and Jay Sintal to man the front line for the Ateneo you See what I'm talking about? Marvin Cruz getting it to go, plus the foul on L.A. Tenorio. Of course, it's had a slow start this year. Marvin Cruz suffering an, L an, AC an MCL injury about oh, four weeks ago. Kaya he's quite hurting, but uh, I've got to talk to him this afternoon. He believes that he's in his and he knows that he can come back. He believes that this team is uh, for real. Check that. My apologies. The shot was nullified. Possession still with UP. Ira Puiko, if you don't recognize him, with the face mask. And he never did come. But the number 16, Ira Puiko, now. With the absence of JRAS, UP is quite small in their front line. But uh, let's see this afternoon if they're rebounding dominance. Holds through once again. 
Marvin Cruz with two repossessions already here in the game, and he is psyched up and offensive-minded. Draws another foul. This time from JC Intale. This time he will go to the line to shoot two free throws. Excellent point you made, Kasama Boom. Very offensive-minded, it don't see uh, Marvin Cruz. He's taking it strong against LA Tenorio, trying to uh, get his offensive move. Because uh, in his previous performances, itong si uh, Marvin Cruz has only averaged 2.3 points a game. More than that, almost six errors per ball game. A shadow of his old self. We all know that Marvin Cruz is one terrific point guard once he gets healthier. Usually, Gino Ferrer on your screens starts for UP, and then see, see Marvin Cruz comes off the bench to replace him. Let's go to the other side, the Ateneo Blue Eagles with Chini Canivel. Chini, how are you doing? As the only undefeated team, the Ateneo spirit is high. But as point guard L.A. Tenorio notes, this will be a difficult game for Ateneo as UP is very motivated and will do whatever they can to secure this win. It will be a challenge for Ateneo not to be overconfident. They will have to be patient with each other and keep up the good teamwork that they developed in practices and during the past few games. Boom, Ronnie. Thank you very much, Chini. Two things we want to pick up from that report. Number one, if you're Ateneo, yung kalaban mo dito as complacency. Number two, one of the hardest teams to go up against is a team that is, ha has its back against the wall. And I think Yugi is close to that description right now, Ronnie. Oh, definitely. They don't want to fall behind and uh, be at the bottom with NU. They want that first win now. They want that first win in this battle of Katipuna. Oh, what a move from JC and Dal. Unable to get it to stay down, though. And Abi Santos with a retrieval, but a wild pass from Marvin Cruz to Josan Cervantes. So the infraction committed there, and the ball goes back. Sabihin ko sana itong katipunan, pero uh, <laughs> medyo hindi pwedeng gamitin yun ngayon. Oo, matraffic dyan. Pag nagkarap ang Ateneo, <laughs> matraffic dyan yung isang araw when he had this major downpour. Anyway, ball back to the blue shirts, L.A. Tenorio. Looking for a friend. Finds Ford Araw. Pugia. Back to L.A. L.A. stepping into traffic. Yes, with a teardrop shot. Great teamwork shown here by the Blue Eagles. This has been one of the secrets so far. The coach Sandy Arrest Pakunchaga, the 29-year-old rookie mentor, who has really done things very, very well for the Ateneo team. JC Tal, two steps ahead, able to get it up and in, and a pass coming from LA Tenorio once again. JC Tal in the year 2003 averaged only four points per ball game. In the year 2004, has up this average to more than 10 points a game, a real mature player right now oh, is JC Good play from Abi Santos. First of all, makes, swings it to the other side, and then gets it up and in, and ties the ball game at eight at the 623 mark of the first quarter. The leading scorer for UP, Abi Santos, continues to do well in the offensive uh, end for the for UP. LA, using his quickness, sends it out to Paulo. Paulo with the fake pass. This is short, way short. That's a little bit, maybe a, you know, a a foot out of Paulo Bugia's range. I really thought that he was very surprised to see himself wide, wide <laughs> open. He said, "Nung yari sa player, yung pagyung so bumibig ka, mapapaisip ka, ipapasa mo, ilalapit mo." Ira Buiko against three forces the issue. LA again trying to lead that fast break. LA sends it over to Fonashev, but the defense of Jaire was there. They send it inside. Paulo wanting to get that ball inside of Ford Auto, but Abi Santos covering them very well. Marvin checking his options. Goes to Cervantes for the three. That is deflected by LA. Intal looking for his point guard. 5.30 mark of the first quarter, and action has been furious here at the Big Dome. Ford Auto against Abi Santos. Trying to send it over to Laddie, but traffic was too hectic in that sequence. Marvin doesn't have the numbers. The score is still tied at 8. Abi from 18. Steps in. Cervantes from 16. Short. And Intal with the repossession. One guy who also came off the injury list. Sitong si Jusan Cervantes. Yes. He struggled in the game against USD. And so far, 0 out of 2 from the perimeter this afternoon. And Intal towering over a couple of fighting Maroons for a two-point lead at 10 to 8 at the 448 mark of this first quarter. Jusan Cervantes huffing and puffing as uh, JC Intal continues to dominate him on the inside. Cruz forces this one. Nothing there. Santos again. Javi Santos with his third rebound of the game and a 
points. Six of the 10 UP points on the board. And we are all tied up at 10 after almost six minutes of action. We have our first time out on the floor. You are watching the UAP Season 67 on Studio 23, Kabarkada Mo. One of the most awaited matchups of the season is the Battle of Katipunan. Expect a very exciting game as the UP Fighting Maroons face their neighboring school, the Ateneo Blue Eagles. Having suffered three losses, the Fighting Maroons are very, very, very hungry for their first breakthrough game. And this is the perfect opportunity for them to prove themselves by conquering their fears, mastering themselves, and working with a team, they will be able to win this game. Boom and Ronnie. Thank you very much, Gretchen. It's going to be tough to go up against a very, 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 very motivated team, according <laughs> to Gretchen Pulido. Thank you very much. A final way for matchup for any time, anywhere, energy, grab a bar now. Look at this matchup that we have, Abby Santos versus Paulo Pugia. Look at the numbers <laughs> that we see here. Paulo Pugia taking a brief rest after Abby Santos has scored six straight points here in the first period. Four turnover points for Ateneo, none for UP. Ateneo shooting 42%, 44 for UP so far. And we are tied at 10. And if you just joined us, we're glad to have you with us on our Sunday showdown. Boom Gonzalez with Ronnie Moxana for the game between Ateneo and UP. Ateneo looking for separation here with a 3-0 team standing. UP just looking for its first win in season 67. And the spark plug comes in. Totti Almeda, nothing there. Tenorio, three steps ahead. Nagagawa pa sila ni Membrere. A little bit of miscommunication, but they recover. They have 18 seconds on the shot clock to reset. Kim Sun, by the way, is in the ball game and sets an illegal pick right away. Looks like the mindset of Coach Mongaroya for this afternoon's game is to shut down the Tungsi Lari for the share. And so far, he's been successful in limiting the touches of Lari in this afternoon's ball game. Bruce Cabral on your screens right now. Shot putter pala to, no, bro. <laughs> Laki ng katawan. Kaya pala. Alam ko, he, he doubles in modeling on the side also. He's a former, uh, a comebacking player also for the oh, UP. 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 Tony Almera eludes Membrere and commits another aggression foul, the second here in the game for both schools. One from Martin Kimson, who took that charge from Totti Almeda. Trying to make an impact right away is Totti Almeda. A little excited, no? Tung skipper ng UP Maroons, who for the record, kasamang boom, yes. used to be teammates with Magnum Membrere. You? For the San Pedro Red Cups in the year 2000, as we see. Maki Escalona, finally in the ball game, in LA Tenorio. It's much good rest. Si Gino Ferrer, nandiyan na rin para sa UP. Pinaditan si Marvin Cruz. Yan ang matchup natin sa point guard position. Punashev steps back from 15. That's a tough one. Maki Escalona trying to send it over to Martin Kimson. But the ball will go to UP. We are still knotted at 10. Cervantes away from everybody else. 13 to shoot for UP. Go down, Kebran, nowhere to go, Totti. There's a foul ball away from the ball. For Asher and company thought there was a travel oh, yes. infraction. That's why they were ready to go down already for their offensive attack. But Eto, a chance for UP to uh, finally gain control of this ball game should they make a basket. UP is keeping in step with Ateneo. Sabi nga natin, basically yung problem nila in their first three games was uh, falling so much behind yes. against their first three opponents. But now they have managed to get keep it step against the Ateneo. Ferrer driving and then Trasan with a short stab and that is short. Ponacher comes away with a retrieval. That is his third rebound of the game. Ateneo shooting themselves in the foot by costly miscues. Good ideas pero hindi na sasalo. Ricky Dantan used to play for the UP Maroons together with Rico Perez who also comes from uh, the school of UP. Andrew Cruz and uh, Tadeo, I forgot his first name. Sunny. My apologies, Sunny Tadeo, I believe. Oh, nga pala partner, bago tayo magtuloy, gusto sana kita. Teka, uh, eto muna, may field goals muna tayo. Oh, sige, ikaw UP muna. with 4 out of 11, and Ateneo with 5 out of 13. Kinakabahan ako sa hawak. Happy ko, birthday sa iyo <laughs> sa Tuesday, uh, <laughs> July 27. Salamat, salamat. Mukhang masaya na naman ang mga happening at party natin dyan, partner. Wala nga. <laughs> Hotel Meda finally getting to the scoring act. Now UP is up, 12 to 10. Si Wesley Gonzalez, birthday rin okay. on the 27. Ateneo na rin lang yung pinag-uusapan natin. 2.21 to play. Tama na yan. 12.10 is our score. Happy birthday ulit. <laughs> <laughs>
You're not gonna get free anything from me for beating me twice. Okay na sana dun sa una eh. Maasa lang. Oh. Okay, now here's a slow-mo. As we see Tonti Almeda getting it up and in. Sailing in for the two and UB with the lead. At the 221 mark. Graduating, as you mentioned, Larry Funasher on the line for two gift shots. Funasher in season. 67 is averaging 85, close to 85 percent from the 15th parallel, and he nets two right away. Mateneo with a little pressure on UB. Cabral breaks it, but Punashev takes it away almost, but runs out of space. That's the kind of player Alari Punashev is. Not only will he give you good offense every time, but look at the way he plays defense. No nonsense. It's a total effort if he gives it to his other team. Tonti again driving in. This time it comes up wild. Nestor got in. Unable to execute. On the goal staff. Bonacher all the way for the two. He's having a hard time in the half court. Cesar Martineo. See what does he do? Attack the transition uh, defense of UP. Membrera takes it away, fakes and goes for the two points and gets the roll. This is one of the main problems of UP the 67 season. The ability of their backcourt to control the ball and uh, cross that ball half court and execute their offense. You know, um, if you talk to a lot of the guys from Montenegro and Luka, they're so happy with the rejuvenation of Magnum Membrera. That's something that they're looking out for and they're still hoping that yung marigain niya yung deadly touch from uh, the three-point area. And he showed in their first game against De La Salle that oh. he, has, uh, he has already regained the form that made him a very dangerous player. Kaya alam mo siya tinawag na mambo. Magnum De La Salle. Pistolero yan eh. Oh. As you look at this, slow-mo. Magnum Embrere taking it away and then converting for the two points. But Gita Rosario is in already for Ateneo while she cannot rub it. Para sa the boy wonder. UP, that's right. Ponashev from 15. He's been missing a couple. Or he has missed a couple so far. But Martin Kimson, whom I heard Coach Norman Black, who acts as consultant, yes. Fratineo, likes very much because of his work ethic. Yan ang balibalita ako dyan. This is the only game that he hasn't started. The oh, first okay. three games that they have played, which they have won. Kimson has always started para sa kanina ko. Chris Chu comes into the ball game. Uh, the 19-year-old Ateneo player and uh, basketball idol Michael Jordan. I'm sure he's not the only one. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to point out that itong si Baji De Rosario may not provide great numbers day in, day out, but I like the gutsy attitude oh, that yes. this young player has. He's all hard. He always brings a lot of effort and a lot of intensity every time he sets foot on court. Quality talaga siya oh. more than quantity. And that's always been the trademark of Baji De Rosario's game. He will do the real dirty work. Dirty work, yeah. And look at that unforgiving defense of the blue shirts in the last three sequences that have produced turnovers for UP. Bugia sends it out. Baji, thinking about it, draws closer. Wala dun sa kanyang possession ayon, but Kebral takes it away from everybody. Ateneo is ahead by five. 35 seconds remaining, and Abi Santos! Buti na lang nandun si Nestor David for the putback. First two points for Nestor David. Guy who have just seven rebounds per ball game. Anim dito, full count from the offensive, rebounding at every time. As Calona makes it to their attack zone. And Gino Ferrer giving him the left side. Pugia from 16, short. Kim Son, and this is why Coach Norman Black loves him. And what a play by Ateneo! Very Escalona finding Bugia on the part of Maki Escalona. I'm sorry, partner. As Ateneo continues to exceed its fine teamwork, that has resulted in three successive teams so far. And that will be the end of the first 10 minutes of the ball game. And what a quarter it has been here in the Big Dome, all part of your Sunday showdown. Ateneo, the number one team in season 67, defending well and passing well. And now they have a five-point lead coming into the second. We'll be back after this commercial break. You're watching the UAAP on season 67 on Studio 23. Back here at the Big Dome for more of your Sunday showdown here on Studio 23. Cheska Lippen and Cheska Garcia joining us here in this game between Ateneo and UB. 
And this was the sequence a while ago. Magnum Embrere taking it away from Totti Almeda. The pump fake and the conversion. And now a five point lead to start with. Para Sateneo going into the second quarter. And uh, I think he Membrere stretched his calf muscle. While, uh, so now he's being attended to as you look at the uh, numbers for season 67. Oh yes, look at the smile of Magnum. Definitely a worthwhile season for him. This 2004 UAAP. But G with a retrieval. And Ateneo looking to start the second quarter strong. And they do! Boom, baby! Courtesy of Chris Tu. Don't look now, it's an eight-point lead from Mateneo at this point. You be falling into the trap of not executing their offense. And that's the most of turnovers. Impatience in the Higita Natin Pico. Look at the turnovers of you. Seven is against 45 for the Ateneo team. You know, uh, Ronnie, that was the first outside shot, a perimeter shot of either team. UP is 0 out of 7, Nateneo 0 out of 6, Kanina. That breaks the spell, that Chris Q shot a while ago. UP getting the ball. And look at the coverage that Chris Q provided. But Gino Ferrer breaks up the play. Wild pass by Bayani, and the ball is still alive. And Coach Bongaroya says, Balik sa defensa. That's what I mean when I say that UP is so impatient at this point. They get the turnover after their own turnover. But uh, then again, they want to push and score so quickly. Chris Tew training a three-point shot brought to you by Smart Buddy. Paolo Bogea, a three-point play opportunity for Books, as he is fondly <laughs> called. Where is that, that basket, Vito K. Chris Penetrates so well, attracts the help side defense, and Eto Bogea will be left alone with that nice pass make and one opportunity. What a bullet pass right there. And a lead. Balloons made at 24. 16 at 8.46 remaining here in the second quarter. Paulo Bogea completes the three-point play. Five points for the big man in the middle. And another press courtesy of the guys in blue. Push as you look at the turnover points so far. Six to nothing. Advantage going to the Ateneo team, of course, in the second quarter. The coach, Sandy Aris Pakutsaga, throwing a nice full court press that has spelled trouble. That was a backcourt guy from UP. Doug Kramer in the ball game for the very first time. 8 39 to play here in the second quarter. So both coaches shuffling. Very well here in the game. Santos against Kramer. Trying to execute that fadeaway. That comes up a bit short. And four Blue Eagles all over that leather. Del Rosario is denied entry. But is fouled by Agbayani, I believe. Experience and Ginama Dito ni Bajid Del Rosario taking that ball strong to the wound. Creating contact. Agbayani being called for that foul. Ateneo has a nine point lead right now. It's important for UP to keep it close. Keep the score close yes. all the time. Dahil Ateneo is such a dangerous and potent offensive team. That is our smart buddy instant replay or we saw Bajid Del Rosario driving against a taller, heftier, even. Jay Agbayani, and that is a classic Baji move. Alam mo, ito, pag nag-drive, he really doesn't care who's in front of him. That's a battling move coming yes. from Baji Del Rosario. Nabanggit mo kanina ang kasamang buong Ateneo. Four guys on the rebounding end because they know for a fact that UP is number one in terms of rebounds. They know for a fact also that UP's only weapon for this afternoon will be to dominate the offensive rebounding end. Baji, two for two from the line. Alam mo, pinapasabi lang sa akin ni Olsen, ano, kanina. Pinsan pala niya si Yuri Escueta. Okay. Yung nandiyan sa isang point guard ng okay. uh, Ateneo. Third guard in the rotation of Coach Sandy Aron Pusikaga. That's right. Tignan natin kung pareho silang tumakbo ni Olsen. Yeah. <laughs> he did get the opportunity to play against, against Olsen. No, I mean, the, against uh, the last team that Ateneo beat, which was... Uh, let me see. You eat. Correct. That's Correct. right. I was here last Thursday. And also, he got to play against his class in Olsen in the uh, alumni. The ABL. The ABL. Yeah, it's ABL. In the meantime, the lead is up to nine. That is the largest. Make that 11. That is the largest lead of the game. 27, 16, 749 to play. But G going to his right, setting up Tenorio for the three. 
Nothing there. Bugia is blocked. Denied by the mid. He gets it back. Denied again. Great interior defense show here by Nestor Minator, Nestor David. Yun pala yun. Eraser na Terminator. Oh, Kasi astigan tawag dyan. <laughs> I love this guy's vertical leap. Ooh, what a move on the other end. Dismantling the Ateneo defense and cutting the lead down to 9 at 27-18. Defense turning into offense para dito sa UP, courtesy of Nestor David. Chris Jew, who trained a triple earlier. 10 seconds to shoot. Did you see that grimace in the face of Marvin Cruz yes. when he went up against that roadblock that was set by Bugia? Well, he seems all right. Marvin setting up Agbayani. He seems all right for sure. <laughs> That's the proper way to run the three on one break as Marvin Cruz showing signs of brilliance here, running the break so well for the white shirts. 6.40 to play in the lead. All of a sudden, in a blink of an eye, is down to five. But G, going up strong once again. Bugia goes up, sticking it back. <laughs> Not to be denied this time. Saying to Nestor to be, take that. Yeah. 6.26 to play in the lead. Back up to seven. And they go down once again to Abi, who's been quiet here in the second quarter. Trying to get it on with Doug Kramer. Quiet no more. Perhaps Carter, he heard you as Adi Santos in this ball game. Already with 10 big points. That's right. And you know, I'm happy for Abi Santos because in the first two games of UP, he attempted a lot. He had great moves but just could not finish. Para hindi na na buhay group niya. In the meantime, another denial. David ahead of the pack. Goes to Marvin is from Nestor David. Tenorio goes to the right. Baji all the way. Nothing there. Kramer goes to the other side. And gets it up and in. What a game. What a game! Sunday showdown at Bully Fest here the Big Dome. And two teams that are trading ex exceptional plays left and right. Doug Kramer goes to the spin and gets it up and in to give Ateneo back a nine-point lead with 5.39 to play. We will be back. We're back here with us at the Big Dome watching us live on Studio 23 and all televised games are being carried live also on the internet on www.abs-cbn.com as we look at this wonderful pirouette move by Nestor David and masing it ko na rin, Ronnie that we are also seen via the TFC Filipino channel in North America, Middle East and other parts of the world. Maraming salamat sa inyong panonood ng UAB Season 67. Look at the numbers of Nestor David. Almost 14 points per ball game for the 50 percent from the outside. At yung rebounds dito ni Nestor David has really helped the cause of UP. Although this has translated into a win so far para sa Fighting Maru. 5-14 to play. 31-22 is our score for Nasher. Spotting Araw who thought about it. Ira Buiko was there in front of him. Tenorio goes into traffic, sets up Doug Kramer. Nice triple drive para dito kay L.A. Tenorio. Looks like small guys of Ateneo were able to penetrate so well and issue those nice trap passes to the big guys of the Blue Eagles. 9-2 to two advantage of the offensive boards and four more offensive retrievals for Ateneo in this game. Tenorio and Marvin Cruz going at it. Almost another turnover for the U.P. The rules as uh, Abi Santos got flying in there with nowhere to go. Look at that nice pass from Tenorio to Kramer. That Kulos Ice assist was brought to you by Nescafe Ice. Do the move. And it's a back to an 11-point lead as time runs out on the shot clock of the Fighting Maroons running. That's correct. Martin Cruz forced to take that shot from way out as uh, the shot clock was running down. And Eto Ateneo protecting an 11-point lead. Clifford Arrow nga pala, kasama po. Yes. Of the Ateneo team and uh, Jayak Bayani of UP. Also used to be teammates of Sanjay Beta. In 2002. Intal down to Kramer. Kramer looking for a clear out. Sends it over to Funasher. Six on the shot clock. Funasher slid. Hopefully he's not injured. 
but he cannot get up Kasama Roy. This yes, is a bad sign. I know. Marvin Cruz with the three-point play opportunity on the other end. And I did not like the way Larry Punasher slid, Ronnie. That's correct. He's clutching onto his left knee. All hope that Larry Punasher will be all right. Don't want this fine player that he is. Ang sama nung two last night. Parang bumig two out of five from the field. We'll get an update on that for sure from Chini Canivao a little later. In the meantime, this game, with four minutes left in the first half, Ateneo still ahead by nine at 33-24. You see the crowd is stunned. Do you feel that, Ronnie, That's here in the big dome? Even after the basket by Marvin Cruz, exactly. Everybody did not react to that basket, specifically because Larry Punisher was down and inverting dito sa backcourt ng, uh, sa frontcourt ng Blue Eagles. And uh, parang alam mo, when I see it right now and I'm looking at him, parang hindi nga niya ma-stretch yung tuhod niya, Ron. And Totoo he's, yun. He's in that same position that he was a while ago where he is, anong tawag mo, bending that Correct. knee. Correct, at an angle. Exactly. At a 90 degree angle and for sure there will be a physical examination done by the physical therapist of Ateneo and uh, maybe he'll be taken to the hospital right away for a quick examination and a physical uh, look by the physicians. You know, this is where a stretcher would really come in handy. You know, I, I, I'm always, I don't know if I should say this, I'm always against, you know, players being carried by other players in situations like these, you know? Dahil parang ayaw mo na Ayaw mo na parang na-aggravate. May magalaw. Oh. May magalaw. We'll get an update on that later. Both on Membrere and Ponacher. Two very key players for this Blue Eagle team. But as I said, for the team here on the floor, Ronnie, they will have to deal with it now. Life goes on. Yes. That's the way basketball goes. Under four minutes remaining. 33-24. You never want to see a player grimace in pain like that. Oh, no yours. matter what school you belong to, no matter who your favorite opponent In the meantime, the ball will stay with the Blue Eagles. It will be the job now of guys like Membrere, I'm sorry, Maji and Intal to all step up. Intal, that's a tough shot. Kramer sends it out, and the ball will go to UB. Major decision here for Coach Sandy Aves Papuchado, who will take the place of uh, Larry Punisher at this point in his uh, rotation sa kanyang uh, first time. Tyrell. Cruz stepping back, sending it over to Ibanez. Ibanez, baseline drive, draws the foul. From Ford Arrow. Every time you take that ball strong to the hoop, chances are you will get fouled or you will hit that basket. And this time, Ibanez getting fouled by Clifford Ford Arrow. He will go to the line for two charities. Now, I talked about the uh, how this is going to pose as a problem for Ateneo, talking about Punasher and Tendrere. But if you're UP, I mean, yes, I'm sure you feel sorry for, for what has happened because. You know, I mean, he's. Uh, I'm sure he's got friends there at UP too. As you look at Ken Joseph Baraposo, the rookie for Ateneo, now giving playing time, obviously because of the two injuries that Ateneo has uh, felt as of the moment. But back to my point, Ronnie, if you're UP, you have got to take advantage of a situation like this. That's correct. This is a golden opportunity yes. for the UP Maroons to uh, try and keep this score close as having an happened, give themselves a chance of winning this game in the end. Dahil, uh, alam mo, hindi rin naman kompleto yung UP. In fact, I want to call them the Wuking Wounded. Very depleted in lineup. And the uh, acting coach, Mong Arroyo, is uh, taking over head coach. Dito Vergara was still in the hospital and we hope that he gets well soon also. And well soon, I'm sure he's watching this game. Coach Dito. And now, since then, this lead has been cut down to eight. But G, penetrating. Mugia sends it out to Tenorio. Stepping back for the three-point shot. Gets it to go! That will be one major adjustment in the offense of L.A. Tenorio. He has to pick up the scoring slack because their best gunners, Membrer and Punasher, will be sitting out this quarter. Santos with a pretty-looking move, but G 
just could not get it to stay down. And the retrieval courtesy of Jay, or make that see uh, Intal, JC Intal rather, Tenorio, eluding. But issuing an errant pass, he's trying to get it back. This is what the UAP is all about. Who wants the ball more? And Baji, and Ibanez, trying to separate <laughs> the other players. Tumutulong lang, tumutulong lang. Right on the chair's left leg for ACL. Unfortunately, they cannot determine the real cause as his leg is still in spasm and cannot conduct the test until this has this spasms have subsided. Now back to you, Boom and Ronnie. Thank you very much uh, for that, Chini. Tell me, um, Ronnie, in layman's terms, when they say they can't check it because the leg is still in spasm, what does that actually mean? Hindi pa niya kasi may diretso eh. Yeah. And being able to check whether you have an ACL tear or not, kailangan igagalaw-galaw yung parte ng tuhod niya. Now, kung matigas pa yung leg mo mismo, kasi pinag-guard niya yung, ano, yung yes. pain eh, yung injury. Yes. So, habang matigas pa yun, hindi mo matetest kung maluwag o hindi yung okay. ACL ni Larry. Okay. Alright. We'll give you an update on Magnum Empere. Later on, in the meantime, Bugia training a 14-footer, and the assist coming from the rookie, Ken Baragoso. Tenorio breaking up the play, three steps ahead. Forget about it. This is the way L.A. Tenorio has slowly evolved into the main leader for Ateneo. Sensing that Funasher and Membrere may be out for the game, has really picked up the offensive scoring stack, and Eto, a big 15-point lead for the Blue Eagles, courtesy of L.A. Tenorio. Oh, what a move by Josan, but could not convert. And a foul is called on Bajin del Rosario. For the benefit of our televiewers, kasamang boom, ACL means anterior cruciate ligament. A part of the knee na nasa likod ng patel. Yes. yes. Okay, uh, we'll go back to that in a bit. Let's send it over to Gretchen Toledo of the UP Fighting Maroons. Gretchen. This is actually the third game that Coach Lito Vergara missed coaching his team due to his confinement in the hospital. But despite this, the Fighting Maroons are fighting as one and moving as one. Assistant Coach Wong Arroyo stressed that they should maintain their momentum, play tougher defense, rotate the ball more, and keep on fighting. Ronnie and Boom. Thank you very much, Gretchen. 132 remaining and the lead up to 15. So Ateneo dealing with what they have right now very well as Marvin Cruz misfiring from the three-point area. So far, they haven't hit their shots from the perimeter. But, uh, Ateneo playing a little zone here, and this has spelled trouble. Para dito sa Gunners, the UP. You know, a situation like that, as uh, we just found out pala, Ronnie, that tama ka, Magno Membrere, mukhang kinakramps dun sa may calf area niya yata, as Paolo Bugia, unable to get this one down. A situation like that, you don't have your two key players because of injury. It will either bring your morale down or will either, you know, pump you up and say to yourself, you know, let's let's offer this to Larry. Or, you know, it's as simple as a uh, half field and half empty glass. Oh. They swing the ball over. Santos trapped in the middle. Look at that stifling defense of Ateneo, punctuated by that block. From Paolo Bugia. Nobody wants to take that shot from UP from the outside. In their game against UST, Victor Epres nailed 16 points. Yes. Most of them coming from the three-point stand. But this afternoon, so far, we haven't seen the enemy of Epres in this game. And Aida Puigo. Nagtilim. Ang palingin. Because of Paolo Bugia. Ang layman's term natin sa pag mga laro-laro sa labas is blackout. Oh, nag-blackout. Oh, nag-blackout. 45 seconds remaining, and Ateneo protecting a 15-point lead. Ken Baracoso. What a drive by the rookie! Although, it's an offensive foul. Ken Baracoso. Pero tapang nung galaw yun. Stand out from the junior team of the Ateneo. Ang nakakatakot, si Cruz yung kanya. Oh, but Marvin Cruz. MCL injury and all giving up his body. Oh! And then no possession going back to UP. Well, I think he protected himself really well. A little winded. Oh, yeah. Ang ni Barcoso, eh, oh. Look at the front line right now of the Ateneo. Average right now is about 6 or 6 four. You have to remember that they still have a player who has not seen action in season 67. The one we were all Jacket. looking at during the round robin para dito sa Ateneo. For the first time, he's suited up. But I talked to Baji. He told me na pang round robin lang muna. They're trying to 
get him into the groove slowly talking about Japet Aguilar the son of uh, former PBA player Peter, Peter Aguilar, Aguilar na tall and long yes ganun din ayan si Japet nakikita niyo on the screen and if you see him live you'll know what we mean <laughs> Was stricken with appendicitis. Yes. First day. That's good. The morning of the Ateneo La Salle game. So it will be quite a while before we see this young guy in action. But for sure, he will be a force to reckon with here in the UAAP. I'm glad though that uh, oh, na, no? No? Iba bata. Ama. Na. <laughs> well, in the meantime, creating space for himself underneath and cuts the lead down to a baker's dozen. 11 seconds remaining, and Ateneo will go for the final shot of the half. Escalona drives, sets up Barafoso for the three, overshoots the mark, and that will be it for the first half of a game that has been intense from the get-go. The Battle of Katipunan. As you look at Magnum Membrere, Hobbled, Kimson, and Escueta joining him and trying to carry him to the locker room. In the meantime, Tenorio and the rest of Ateneo in the lead by 13, 40 to 27. We'll be back with our halftime festivities here at the Big Dome. Please stay with us. Welcome back to the Big Dome for more of your Sunday showdown. And the score at the half after the first 20 minutes of this ball game is 40, 27, a big 13 point lead by the guys in blue at Ateneo de Manila University over the UP Fighting Maroons. Boone Gonzalez and Coach Ronnie Muxanok joining you. The game that uh, we've seen 12 deadlocks so far, the biggest lead so far for Ateneo has been 15 at 40 to 25, Ronnie. That's correct, down by only five at the end of the first quarter. UP falling into the trap of carrying up their half court set. Ateneo, Ateneo, Ateneo have built this lead to end the first half, 40 to 27. All right, let's check out our stat board right now to figure out what happened in the first 20 minutes of actions. And as I said earlier, your perimeter points, especially for UP, who cannot seem to unclog that uh, Ateneo stifling defense. Metro absent. That's correct. In the second quarter, Ateneo throwing a little zone defense against UP. Against UP. Ito, ito, ito. Perimeter points for UP. None so far as against eight. Para sa Ateneo. Rebound. We expected UP to dominate this uh, department. But so far, Ateneo holding its own advantage. Ateneo once again. Turnovers. Tignan mo. Pareho ang turnovers. But the turnover points. Once again, advantage arrow points to the Ateneo Blue Eagles. That's why they have the lead of 13 points. Same number of turnovers for both teams. Although Ateneo obviously making more of those opportunities in the first half. Abi Santos of the UP Fighting Maroons so far with 10 points in the game, shooting five out of nine from the field. He has led the Maroons here in this ball game. We also featured him in our pregame earlier uh, prior to the start of this uh, match between Ateneo and UP. In the meantime, it is Paulo Bugia asserting himself underneath nine points 40% from the floor at 4 out of 10, and they lead both of their teams in terms of scoring. That's correct. Abby Santos, Nestor David, and Marvin Cruz carrying the scoring load for the UP Maroons. Para naman dito sa Ateneo, Bugia and Tenorio, each with 7 points. And Darek Fonesher, who might be lost for this ball game. At itong si Magnum Membrere din, Darek Fonesher with 6 points. Uh, I expect in Tal, Magito Rosario, L.A. Tenorio, at itong si, of course, Paulo Bugia to do much of the scoring come the second half. You know, um, for those people who just joined us here on Studio 23, major development happened for uh, during the first half, and uh, we're talking about uh, Teneo de Manila losing Larry Fonachar, as you mentioned, probably for the rest of the game, the way he was carried out in a stretcher a while ago. And Magnum Membrere, officially, the uh, call is he's got cramps, so we don't know the status here in the second half for Magnum. What do you think, Ronnie? Well, it will all really depend on the kind of start that you will be having in the third period. They have to make sure that they cut down into this lead and put a lot of pressure dun sa backcourt ng Ateneo. Because yung gunners dito ng Ateneo, mawawala na in the presence of Membrere and Fonachar. I look at UP to challenge the outside shooters of Ateneo and clamp down on the inside. El Bugia in Intal have been doing a, a wonderful job out of the Blue Eagles. The UP Fighting Maroons are behind by 13 points. Let's see what happened in the locker room and Gretchen Pulido had the inside track on that. Gretchen, what do you have for us? During the halftime, Coach Bong Arroyo challenges players to bring down the lead in the third quarter. They should not be contented with their current status, but they should be patient with the ball. Communication is very important at this point. Boom and Ronnie. Thank you very much. They need more of that, especially now that we have seen that Ateneo has pretty much cranked up 
their defensive uh, abilities if you saw the first half uh, kanina lamang. The reason why UP was able to keep in step with Ateneo in the first quarter was because their defense really held up. Lalo yes. dahil na yung half-court defense nila. Against Panasher, against uh, itong si Magdum Nembere. But then, Intal and Bugia were able to dominate on the inside. That's why Ateneo was able to score easily. And of course, Tenoro Escalon and Tew did a wonderful job in giving those nice dish dish up sa mga malalaking tao nila. Kaya naman, eto Ateneo up by 13. You mentioned um, the backcourt of Ateneo um, uh, just a while back. We'll talk about that after we listen to Chini Canivel. I think she has this official report also from our halftime locker room talk. Chini? Larry Punisher has been rushed to the hospital. While there is no final diagnosis on, this, on the current state of his left leg, he is undergoing treatment and testing. As for teammate Magna Membrere, he is suffering from muscle contusions to his left calf due to hard contact in his knee with a UP player. Now back to you, Boom and Ronnie. Thank you very much for Chini Canivel joining us. Of course, Gretchen Polito on the other side. Now that is the official statement. We still don't know what is officially wrong with Larry Ponacher, but well, you saw him, he's carried out, he's already brought to the hospital, and Magnum Membrere, in the meantime, suffering muscle contusions. So this Ateneo team will have to deal with their, without their two key players and will have to carry this fight. They are in the lead by 13, coming, coming into the third quarter of this ball game at 40 to 27. Very interesting lineup for Coach Randy Aros Pocotraga. Starting off with three big guys, at dalawang malilit na tao para sa kanyang starting unit. All right, I had uh, a, some sort of a hanging question before I passed it over to Jeannie Caribel earlier for you, Ronnie. Backcourt, how have they uh, played against each other today? Well, so far, advantage pointing to the Ateneo, LA Tenorio, and uh, itong si uh, Maki Escalona playing much better than Marvin Cruz and Gino Ferrer. Tony Almeda unable to drain the three. It is Jairi Banyas there, nothing there. And Paulo Bugia comes down with his sixth repossession of the ball game. A minute gone by. Pachi unable to get it to stay down. This you is the kind of, sorry, partner. Go ahead, Ronnie. This is the kind of respect that Coach Sandy has. Para sa rebounding prowess ng UP. Starting with three big guys para dito sa quarter na to. UP starts with Marvin Cruz who just took that shot. Nestor David, Abby Santos, Totti Almeda, and Jairi Ibanez. In the meantime, it is Bugia, Intal, Ford Arau, Larry Tenorio, and Pachita Rosario will man the backcourt as Santos takes it away from Bugia. David inside to Ibanez. Good play. But Ibanez could not get it down. And a foul is called in frustration. That's correct. Five opportunities for UP to score from point blank range. And so far, they haven't exploited that opportunity. Still a 13 point lead para dito sa Ateneo. Pero napansin ko kasama ng boom the offense of Ateneo. Na iba. In the absence of Ponacher and Membrere. 8 20. And the scoreboard has not moved. Thank you very much for joining us at UAB Season 67 on Studio 23, Kamarkada Mo. And again, another interdiction courtesy of UP. They break up that play, and the starring role will go to Nestor Tavir on that one. Looks like JC Intel will be taking the place of LA Funashir. Samantala, Majita Rosario will be doing the role of a Magnum Membrere. Santos down to David against Bugia. David looking to post up. Bumping and grinding. Up and under move. And he was on a fishing expedition on that move. Bugia with the first foul called against him. Great idea para dito kay Nestor David. Dahil yung perimeter shots nila haven't been falling for them. So he attacks dito sa loob and try to try and get into foul trouble itong malalaking mama ng Ateneo. Under eight minutes to play. Nestor David and the rest of the Maroons still looking for their first win here in season 67. He drains that one. He is a 37% shooter from the 15th parallel. One aspect of the game of the Maroons that has really hurt them in the past two games against UE. They only lost by four points. They shot about 40% from the line. And also against USD, Abby Santos missed about 10 free throws in the crucial stretches of that ball game. UB so far has broken up three Ateneo plays by my unofficial count. Santos rejected there by Etal and draws the foul on the second jump 
mindset of the UP Marus in this quarter. Attack the yes. offensive boards, and Eto, they have been successful at the onset of this period. And right now, they're trying to provide the mini run as the second foul is called against Paulo Bugia. Cause of concern for Coach Sandy Aras Pacochaga. And Abby Santos, just as Nestor David is shooting 37%, this guy is shooting 38 from the line. And misses the first one. And uh, in the game against USD, Abi was a 25% shooter at two out of eight. So really something that he has to work on as he splits his charities. We'll take that. Sabi ni Coach uh, Bongaroy anytime. An 11 point lead, and Ateneo has not scored in the third quarter. Maji, all the way for the two, no! Almeda now against four blue shirts, and an aggression foul called on the skipper of once, the UP Fighting Maroon. Once again, Toti Almeda rushing his decision to attack the basket. Alamo kasamang boom, UP on defense, doing the right thing and trying to pressure the backcourt of Ateneo, forcing them to hurry their shots. Dahil wala na ang LA for Nasher na pupuntahan. That's our smart buddy instant replay. You saw that Totti was up against four blue shirts, and he still tried to get into that traffic. Escalona sets up Intal. Intal pulls up short, and Santos yanks it down. Tenorio wanting to break up the play. Escalona is there. David gets up the dribble. Cruz sets up Almeda for the three. That's way off. It's been a long afternoon for Toti Almeda. And it's going to get longer, Ronnie. We have 6.57 left in the third and a full fourth quarter to play with. So it's Escalona and L.A. Tenorio. Yes, and another. And this time, another <laughs> offensive foul. Nakabawi si Almeda. Oh, oh, that is the right thing to do. Hindi mo babawiin yung, yung, yung uh, pagkakamali by an offensive basket. Neto trying to play good defense. Almeda forcing that uh, offensive foul. Warding of call against Maki Escalona. That's the third personal on Maki Escalona. So the ball will go back to the white shirts of UV. Kasamang boom, this is the... The response of uh, Coach Aris Pacuchaga to the pressure defense in the backcourt against Ateneo. Sending in two guards to try and execute their half-court sets. Na ngayon, it's quite sabog na sabog sa pagkawala ni Podasher at Magnum Membrere. Banyas against the smaller Chris Tiu, who just entered the ballgame replacing Maggi Escalona. Cruz sends it over. Ibanez! How did he get that up and in? Your guess is as good as mine. Getting the Blue Eagles high up in the air. And ito, Ibanez, cutting the lead of Ateneo to a single digit at 9 points, 40 to 31. 6 24 to play. They tried to go inside, but I believe that pass is too low for Ford Arrow. Major dilemma for Coach Sandy here. No perimeter guy to go to. Sabi nga natin, ang best two scorers nila from the outside. Membrere and LA Fonasher not here to finish the game para sa kanila. 6.20 to play. And it's still a nine-point lead for Ateneo. They have not scored still here in the third quarter, and we're almost four minutes down. Ateneo once again throwing his own defense to try and stop the inside uh, attacks of UP, especially in the quarter. Nato Santos, Nestor de Vidin Ibanez have scored heavily on the inside. Well, I did say that they are scoreless so far in the third, but that goes back to the 157 mark of the second quarter, Ronnie. That's correct. Matagal na. Oh, may anim na minuto halos na. May alat na. Oh, and Paulo Bugia says, ayoko na. <laughs> Gusto ko matamis-tamis naman. 11 point for Paulo Bugia in this game. And an 11 point lead is what he gives Ateneo right now as we go into this timeout. You're watching UAB Action here on Studio 23. Back here in the big dome, Charlie B. Watching the hostilities here this afternoon. It's your Sunday showdown between Ateneo de Manila and UP as we give you now our most spirited cheer from the Barcadas in Mentos. The Fresh Makers Barcada here at the Mentos Barcada are Marks, BJ, Birds, Glenn, and G. All from Ateneo. We are in the lead by 11 with the first two points here in the second half courtesy of Books Paulo Vigia. Cruz 
to David Gosing going to the other side and what a play from UP off a timeout. That is the kind of play that uh, Marvin Cruz has shown last year. Uh, sabi nga natin, little uh, flashes of brilliance na pinapakita dito ng promising cager na si Marvin Cruz. Bogea, baseline drive. Imtal has got to make shots like that. Chris Dew finding Bogea. That's money in the bank. 13 points for Bugia, school as ice, sensing that his team needs some leadership here. Ito Bugia combining with L.A. Tenoro, trying to stem the tide here by UP. Big Bell Empress enters the ball game and throws up a wild three and an offensive foul, I believe, called on either David or Santos. Let's get the official call on this one. Sportsman like foul oh, all against Abby Santos. No more black eyes for him. That will be the third personal call. Para dito kay Abby Santos. And then I see etong si uh, Nestor David talking to Big Mel Empress. Uh, siguro sinasabi niya. Yeah. Oh, at saka maganda yung posisyon niya sa ilalim kanina eh. Oh. Maaring naging option sana yun. Sent into the game itong si Big Mel Empress. To try and break that zone defense thrown by the Ateneo against UP. Kenneth, a boy wonder Robin is back in the ballgame. A guy who averaged in double-double in season 66. And now he's still trying to get in the flow of things in season 67 as Fortnado comes up short on the gift side. Once again, and Robin also got from an MCL injury. 21 years old. He Very played so well for yes. UP and from Cebu. Ang, ang sakit ng pagkawala niya dahil towards the end, they had some winnable games that they would, would have made a difference in season 66 if he were playing. Provides a lot of toughness underneath. Para di mo sa fighting for Of the course. Beat. JRS, a big, big loss for the UP team this year. In the meantime, Ford Arrow misses both of his three throws. Arrow actually attempted his first two free throws in season 67. Intal, what a wonderful move from JC, JC Intal. Intal and Rubia carrying the scoring blow for the Blue Eagles. Is a quarter of it. He towered over everybody else on that one. And it's good. Grab it. Cruz finding Empress. Big Bell finding Robin. Empress sends it over to Cruz. Draws closer. Deflected by Arrow. No confidence at all to take that outside shot. UP still struggling to get rid of Empress needs to get the shooting touch soon. I think you hit the nail on the head on that one. Wala pang confianza. And David called for the hold on Malo Bugia. Nestor David's Tenorio. first personal oh, foul. Yes, right. Right. L.A. Tenorio doing the proper thing. Going to the hat hand of Paulo Bugia. Why not? Penalty, penalty situation now. You Bugia will try to drop his uh, production right now, which stands at 13 big points. 13 big points then in the Ateneo. Josan Cervantes also plays volleyball in his spare time. Ken Barakoso in the meantime, Rodineo checks in for Clifford Arrow. And Bugia drains the free throw given him at the 429 mark of this third quarter. Rodineo back with a 14-point lead. Paulo Bugia so far 100% in season 67. Kasama Ronnie from the 15th parallel. Yes, used to be a backup to si Rich Alvarez. But Enrique Villanueva now has come to the lead oh, role. Para kay Coach and what a big black. Paulo Bogia. JC Indal ahead. What a throw. Chama. JC Indal with the nasty throwdown. Posterizing the UB Maroons on that one. Projections coming from Paulo Bugia and a nice forward pass from Tenorio. Delivered on time para kay Jesse Intal doing with it, what he does best. Finish that pass break. And uh, talagang very impressive yung talun nitong mata nito. JC Intal. Mama Chema time. And that amazing pass break brought to you by Milo. Here's another look at that one. Chris Chu, again, this is coming off a block, a denial courtesy of Paulo Bugia. Former slam dunk champion of the PPA. Exactly. This is how we used to be teammates with J.R. Reyes for the advanced squires in the year 2002. Robin from far off. And the shot 
was also far off. Chris Q now settling down the troops with 3.46 remaining. It is the biggest lead of the ball game for the Blue Shirts at 17. Chris Q looking for a roadblock, crossing over and draws the foul. What a drive. That's the move coming from Chris Q and being impressed with the way LA Tenorio has kept this team yes. together. Free throws given to Chris Tew. Di mo kilala yan, Ronnie, no? Husband and wife, Coach Ryan Gregorio, and his lovely wife, Jean Gregorio. I haven't seen Jean in a long time, so it's nice to see her again here at the Big Bang. Si Ron, si Ryan, never mind. Again, the defensive stop. That's how I'm on Ronnie. That's correct. Once again, the backward of Houston. Having a hard time just getting that ball into play and Eto Ateneo trying to break this game apart here in the 3 minutes and 23 mark of our third quarter. Yeah. Lang, L.A. Tenorio commits a transgression of the traveling kind. That sequence, third quarter, 11 rebounds. Para dito sa Ateneo, UP with only five. And you look at the field goals this quarter, obviously UP in a major drought. That's correct. Nobody hitting their outside shots para dito sa team ng UP. Eto, one more predicament for UP. Not playing with the real point guard. Itong si uh, Coach Bong Arroyo sending in Jairi Ibanez to man the point guard position in the place of Marvin Cruz. JC and Tal will move out of the ball game now as Doug Kramer After steps doing back in. a lot of damage partner itong si JC and Tal. Jairi Ibanez for the first and they need all the points that they can get Kasama Ronnie as he is averaging 50% from the 15th parallel. One of the more consistent performers para dito sa Fighting Maroons, Jari Banyas, not scoring well against Ateneo so far. I'm impressed with the defensive uh, stance and pressure that Ateneo has come up with here in this game. LA, dalawa na yung nakatape dun sa uniform niya. Mukhang nadagdagan dahil siguro kay Larry, ano? Yan ang klaseng unity na pinapakita dito ng ating mga young players at solidarity in Canto Matineo. Paolo Bugea comes up short on that one. Baka may konting pagod na ito si Paolo. Totoo yan. As, uh, he has uh, played very, very well this afternoon. Combining with JC and Tal in this quarter to power the Blue Eagles to a large lead over the Fighting Maroon. So Sonny Pagia on your left. Mr. Brent Perez on your right. Here joining us at the Big Dome, Dr. Ricardo Matiba, always here at the Araneta Coliseum, and of course, our boss, Peter Musi, joining us here at the Big Dome. And the kids, of course, it's the weekend, it's Sunday, we are so glad to have you with us, especially the ones watching us on Studio 23. Boo Gonzalez with Ronnie Maxan of Chini Caribel of Ateneo and Gretchen Pulido of UP also joining us at Portside. 2.49 to play in the third. And Ateneo has made that Larry Ponacher Magnum Membrere injury a rallying point as you're looking at the cousin of Olsen Rasela, Yuri Escueta. Telling me that it is. Am I correct? No, I'm, I'm, I'm wondering if he is. I might be asking our dear commissioner. It's like a factory of the guardia. So yeah, it is confirmed that he is from Santana. Marvin Cruz now, and a pull-up, and that should give him a little more confidence. That's style. correct. Rookie, rookie yung atakan niya, no? Most probably, he will go and attack the defense of Esqueta. Marvin Cruz probably played the best game. Para sa kanya, this yes, season. I agree, as he takes it away. And Yuri Esqueta holds his ground, according to the referee, and an offensive foul is called. <laughs> I don't know about that. 2.20 remaining, 53-36 is our score. Referee Zagum, Certeza, and Tolentino, and Coach Bong Arroyo agreed with you, Ronnie, on that one. Dahil makapagalaw pa siya. Totoo yun, tignan natin ito. Ay, mamaya, papakita natin sa inyo. Pinatikip lang tayo sa dali, Paolo Bugia. Behind the back, what a smooth one. But could not complete it. Again, kapos, Ronnie. Might be signs of fatigue for Paolo. He has been playing the whole third quarter. I expect Coach Sander is coming to to give the looks of Paolo Bugia a brief rest before this quarter is over. Paolo Bugia, kasama Ronnie, has been showing moves that I have never seen from him before. Confidence. That's what confidence can do for you. Masyado malakas yung pasa. Oh. 
Yuri Escueta, siyempre may along gigil yan. Alam Ito yun. Not the right idea, but uh, masyadong malapit si Chris Chu for that kind of a strong pass. Yes. Lalong lalo na on the run. Tumatak mo ba? Coming from uh, one of the premier point guards that the Philippines has ever produced. Thank you, birthday boy. Nakakatakto ka na. Konti na lang ililibro na talaga. Still Ateneo staying on with its own defense that has made life miserable here para sa outside gunners ng UP who up to now they haven't delivered from the long court you know prior to the Banyas free throw earlier and the Marvin Cruz jumper before the timeout rather Ateneo was on a 10 to 0 run sabi nga natin uh, off the air we were talking about the fact that injury to Benvere and Dali Pinasher has become a rally point for the Philippines to perform much better here in the second half go back to that point that again those things will either bring you down yes. or pump you up in a moment right. That, that's when the coach comes in, your yes. motivation that he can use, he can do. That is the kind of coach that Sandy is to to bring out the best in his boys in a tough situation. I don't know what it's now that I think about it. If I were in Sandy Aras Pacochaga's shoes, and it happened to Larry earlier, it happened to Magdo, it's hard to focus, huh? That's as correct, coach, definitely. It's hard to do it now. That's why earlier, I saw it. Even after the injury, he just went to Larry to check Larry, and then he went back to his... Uh, normal place that he focuses on the game so because there are other guys who yes. can take care of larry he has to deal Tama with what's it's the responsibility of the head coach to always be on the lookout for the support team doug kramer tracks down the loose ball hands it over to Baji, who does not force the issue they have 14 to shoot and he shoots it and throws it a three-point shot boom baby courtesy <laughs> of Baji del rosario let's move on Left-handed guy, Pachita Rosario, right now giving Ateneo a 19 point lead, 56 to 37. Five points for Baji in this ball game, and the ball will remain, possession will remain with the blue shirts. Baji contesting it, but Coach Santiago Aras Papuchaga, sabi niya, wag na muna. <laughs> Nakatira ka na naman ng tres eh. Yeah, and here's that three, brought to you by Smart Buddy for his fifth point. Baji Del Rosario giving them a 19 point lead, the biggest. Yes, he's fouled. Masuri Escueta is sticking to him like leech. <laughs> JC and Tal already coming in for the tired. Uh, Paulo oh. Bobia. Looks like full blast na naman dito si Coach Sandy come the fourth quarter. For the wind-up, no? Definitely. We'll be staring at the 19 point lead right now. We started out well in the third quarter, but yes. uh, yung ng perimeter of outside sniping, nagang walang wala this afternoon para sa fighting. It has deserted them. Today, Sunday. And if you're at the nail, you want to go into the fourth quarter thinking, you know, really pour it on. I have a fight in the fourth quarter. That's correct. The same attitude they had against UE, pouring it on early Sunday. in the first quarter, setting the outcome of that game as early as the end of the first half. At ito, gusto na nilang iba on, sensing the kill, the killer's instinct. Hindi pa kita rito ng blue. And again, Jairi Ibanez, kasama Ronnie, one out of two from the line as he keeps up to that 50%. It will not help the cause of the Maroons. Should they continue to miss this free throw attempt na pinibigay sa kanila ng blue. Marvin from 16, overshoots. Copy ka ng bola. And the last tap by Abby Santos. So the ball will go to the blue shirts. We have time for around two more plays, barring any hitch here in the third. The next game of Ateneo will be against Adamson. It's a big one. Come July 31. Para dito sa UP, August 1 against uh, the NU Bulldogs. So by that time, I think, sabi ni Coach Bong Arroyo kanina, Coach Ito Vergara, will be back to Manda Hill for the fight. Now because of that hurried shot by JC and Tade, we have two more plays coming up. Barring any hitch also. Marvin trying to draw the foul. Almost a traveling infraction. Josan, age from three. Gets it to go and finally an outside foul from UB. That's the right word. Kasalampung finally coming from the outside. Josan Cervantes answering the call from Coach Bong Arroyo. Three seconds remaining. Chris Tew charges into the mid. So, UP starting the third quarter strong and ending it strong. Pero dun sa gitna, medyo malaki yung na, na lumaki yung Totoo laban. Totoo yun. Oh, Mabigat yung letdown na oh. nangyari in the middle of the quarter. 
Almost, but not quite for Jossan Cervantes. In the meantime, they made a mini run at the dying seconds of our third quarter to cut the lead down to 15. It was highest at 19, courtesy of the three-point shot of Pachi Del Rosario. 56-41, 10 more minutes of UAB action here on Studio 23, Caparcatamo. Joining us this afternoon, the Bevy of Beauties. All joining us for this game between Ateneo and UP, all part of our Sunday showdown, live on Studio 23 for UAB Season 67. She is our Cinderella eye catcher of the game, Claire Yapuko from the Midley International School, all 16 years old, before you here at the Big Bowl. Great smile coming from Claire. Enrita. A foul call on L.A. Tenorio as we start the fourth quarter. Marvin Bruce forcing the turnover against L.A. Tenorio. That first possession follows up the Eagles. Looks like the Maroons are out again to try and make a fast start and try to catch up. It is a 15-point deficit that are staring at their faces. Kanina from third period. We're three seconds into this fourth quarter. We are glad to have you with us on a Sunday evening. Oh, Luke Gonzalez and Ronnie Marsana with you for ABS-CBN Sports. 13 on the clock. Cervantes from 14, short. Javi Santos got, got it uh, stripped by Escalona. Escalona goes back to Kramer for the easy two. Great look coming from Maki Escalona, challenging the defensive team, giving up that nice pass. Dito is a streaking dog, Kramer, right now. Isisete na naman, ang lamang na Madineo. Started the fourth quarter with a 56-41 count, and now it's 58-41. Almeda drives, passes shot blocked by the smaller Maki Escalona. And again, defense has been doing it for the guys in blue running. Definitely, Blue Eagles stepping up on their defense. In the AUPNE, he's got access to the basket. And Eto, and Eto Nono, look at the experience and maturity that he has shown here. Oh, what a play! But uh, Abby Santos breaks it up. Cervantes sends it over to the point guard. Marvin Cruz pulls up for a confident jumper. That's the right word, Kasama Kuhn. Already with eight points. This Marvin Cruz, sabi nga natin, playing the best game dito yes. the 67 season. I agree. Josan Cervantes called for his second personal foul as we look at this Maki Escalona pass to Doug Kramer. That cool size assist was brought to you by Nescafe Ice. Do the move. Kramer goes cherry picking on that sequence. I like the way you say that, partner. Do the move. <laughs> Thank you very much, Sean. And Kramer could not handle the leather and the infraction committed by the Blue Shirts. Coach Juan Arroyo trying to pump up his voice from the sideline. Trying to make a mini run here. Uh, this, this game is still within reach. Yes. With 8.20 to play. Santos, with the up and under, is fouled by Kramer. Almost traveled in that sequence. Santos, after getting a uh, brief rest in the third period, back here to anchor that offensive uh, that inside attack for the Dito's team of UP. But not for long, as we see here, Paolo Bugia checking in for Doug Kramer to, to try and man the front line once again for Ateneo. Let's give you our update on the Milo Wafer matchup for any time, anywhere, energy. Grab a bar now. Obviously, Bugia doing better offensively, but the rebounding department, Avi Santos yes, has been a monster. the rebounding department. And, uh, here, Paolo Bugia slapping the third personal. <laughs> I got that. Kapa pasok lang niya, and, uh, UP attacking his defense right away. 8.14 to play, and a 15-point cushion for the Blue Eagles. Let's go to Gretchen Pulido for the UP Fighting Maroons. Gretchen. The UP team missed a lot of opportunities in the third quarter. That is why Coach stressed that as the challenge increases, the more the team needs one another. This is a very crucial quarter for them, so they should step up, apply more pressure, be aggressive, take the outside shots, they still have time, so they should make the most out of it. Boom and Ronnie. Thank you very much. And while Gretchen was giving us that report, but she pours cold water over the mini rally of UB with another 
triple connection, 61-45 is the score. And nice inside move by Avi Santos, who's got Avi Santos 13 points and nine rebounds. Actually, got 10 earlier on the screen, so. Tati Almeda taking it away. Nestor David, banging bodies. Jene Mañez from the outside. And the outside shooting still deserting the Maroons. Almeda sends it out to Cruz. Cruz has connected on a couple. Santos from inside. Mihalo Malas did. Oh, oh, sorry miss from Santos after that nice pass. Coming from Nestor David. And still Ateneo on top by 14, 61 to 47. Maybe Paolo Bugia just changing that shot a bit. In that sequence, two on one. The bit to Cruz all the way. Nice two in one break here coming from UT and Eto. Does it doesn't point this area and then momentum shifting to the fighting maroon. Father Kaluwag of the Ateneo. Father Neves. We're back here at the games for the UAB season 67. Thank you very much, Ronnie. No problem. Uh, we saw the second triple by Baji Del Rosario, brought to you by Smart Buddy and Ateneo. Four out of eight from uh, beyond the arc. Ito UP naman, a forgettable one out of 11, 9%. Right now, Ateneo, Ateneo under siege from the UP fighting Maroons. Ito six minutes and 42 parts. UP trying to inch closer due to salit ng Ateneo but they haven't broken the double-digit barrier na talaga namang uh, L.A. Tenorio, Paolo Pugia, and J.C. Intel have protected from the second quarter up to this point. 61-49 with 6.35 to play. But G thought about it. And why not? He's drained a couple already. Two big baskets from the three-point air from Bajita. So imagine kasamang boom. Kung hindi niya na-shoot yung dalawang three-point shots niyang yun, this lead would have been uh, more slim para dito sa atin ayo. Kaya oh, naman single na, na lang. Oh, oh. Digit na lang Kaya naman uh, it would be wise for UP to uh, keep an eye dito kay Baji de Rosario. Martin Gibson also back in the lineup for you for Ateneo. Bugia gets Puigo. Baseline drive and the ball taken away by Nestor David. Cruz now. Waiting for more backup. Tries to go to the score of it, but I think Tenorio tapped it out last. One big question here for Coach Sandy Aris Pacuchaga would be that uh, normally, in, at this point of the game, LA, uh, Larry Fonesio will be the go-to guy with the Blue Eagles. But with the absence of Larry in this uh, second half, who will be the guy to go to for the Blue Eagles? I mean, Ateneo has got to thank his lucky stars that this game is not tight. Correct. Not that they are enabled to pull off a tight one without Larry, but with Larry there, you have more security. Definitely. You know, and Magnum Mebrera too, as you look at Coach Juan Arroyo. But let's send it over to Chini Canivel for this report from Ateneo. Chini? Coming into this game, the Ateneo team stressed the importance of staying focused and motivated. Now in the fourth quarter, this is something that the team must still keep in mind. Coach Sandy stressed the importance of keeping the defense and moving around the court and feeling under the post. Ateneo has to remember to help each other out and to work as a team in this crucial quarter. Now back to you, Boom and Ronnie. Thank you very much, Chini. The problem, though, while she was making that report, while well, the bad pass by L.A. Tenorio to the post, as Paolo Pugia, parang hindi maganda yung angulo ni L.A. nung time na yung tama ba, Ronnie? Totoo yun. At hindi lang yan, sabi nga natin normally. There will be Larry Fonacher to pass to. Siya ang pupuntahan nila sa mga gantong klaseng situation. But without Larry Fonacher, with no J.C. in the league time for Ateneo, napilitan itong si uh, L.A. Tenorio to look right away to Paolo Pugia. Sandy Aras Pagutago on your screens. And Totti Almeda, free throw. The unorthodox style of Totti Almeda of taking the free throw. Team jump shot, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, here, yeah, yeah. Come on, time I am not talking about it. You had your own trademark when you were shooting free throws. Thank you, Marco. You're welcome. Paulo Bugia bringing down the ball. I don't know, maybe he didn't come back. 530 to play with 14 seconds remaining in this fourth and final quarter. Good game between UV and Ateneo. Bugia, again. The pass could not be handled by Martin Kinson. Almeda, nowhere to go. They go back to Marvin Cruz. Nestor David drives and then passes it off. 
He had the clear lane. He had the shot. Yet Lester David wanting to give that pass to the uh, Ira Buike was underneath the basket. Motioning on the sideline. It's Coach Bong Royo telling it on see Lester David, take that shot. Make a decision right away. Too many opportunities here. Wasted by UP. This crucial five minute part of our goal. You will learn. That's sure. That's for sure. You will learn. Tenori going underneath. Sends it out to Kukia. Who sends it out to Chris Hugh from the corner. Nothing there. In talent, Gibson and Agawan Sariba. Marvin against the rest of the Ateneo team. And he pops out. I don't know, agree with me or not, Ronnie, but I thought that was a bad pass in the start of it on the run, that was unsecured. Well, kadalasan yan, if you don't have that uh, transition attack, you just pull out and set up your offense. You can't force the Misha Daila. You have to take it one possession at a time. You'll be throwing, throwing away so many opportunities. But no possession would have been a uh, short six points para sa mga goal. You listen to the score. Oh, nagmamadali sila. Oh, nagmamadali pa siya. Methodical and Pagalit, there's no opportunity leading into the lead of the two Eagles. Marvin Cruz will sit down for a while, and Gino Perea, who has been on the bench for a long time. Okay, Adam and Iwana, and the LA Tenorio. What a shot! A sensational shot from LA Tenorio. What a decision here by LA Tenorio, going for a fact that Gino Perea making coming cold from the bench, attacking the defense of Perea and Gino An aggressive foul ball, the fourth personal on LA Tenorio. At that time, you'll be ready to offer that help side defense and deny LA Tenorio and access to the lane. Kapil sa kanina, niskuro niya nito si Gino Perez. Well, let's look at that play once again. Sidestep and then goes underneath for the circus shot. Oh, yes. LA Tenorio in this ballgame is good enough for nine points and four rebounds. You can never say enough about the playmaking chores. Yes. He has done yes. so well para dito sa team ni Constantia. Almost taking the ball away from Claudia Almeda too. They go inside. Back to Almeda. Almeda wanting to pass off to Santos. It was a... Si Jire, pa yun o si Almeda? Si Totti pa rin. Not to be denied, Almeda finally hitting that pass. And kanina pa niya pinipili siya. Finally pick off. Was the skipper of Peru. Blacky? You remember him? Blacky? Hindi ko nakita. Hindi, maliit lang tayo talaga. That too. Chris Chiu from 15. Nothing there. Ital wanting to ram it down. Cruz against Tenorio. Faking, but nowhere to go. A little bit wild on that one. Once again, rushing down court. Rushing on this decision of Eto. In the park, UT hasn't made any headway. LA Tenorio in total control of the offense of Matineo. Talagang great partner backing job. He has done this afternoon. 15-footer. Wins out. Kramer with a stick back. The veterans of the Ateneo team delivering crucial blows against UT. Doug Kramer with nine points and five rebounds at the 251 mark. Stay glued and enjoy your Nescafe 3 and one Masarap sa break time. This is the UAAP on Studio 23. A lot of other coaches have started working at that. Right? Oh, Kramer right? called for his first personal foul. 2.42 remaining. And it's still a Baker's dozen lead for the uh, Blue Eagles as Ital set back in the ballgame. Abi Santos will shoot free throws. Bench scoring, I'm sorry, Ronnie. Go, go ahead, go ahead. It's just, you know, we mentioned the fact that Laddie and Maktoum were not around, and we mentioned the fact that the players have to step up. And boy, did they today. Bench oh, yes. scoring for Ateneo 25, for UP only 16. Notable to mention are, of course, Paolo Bugia and uh, Jason Mittal, stepping up big time para dito kay uh, Ponashera at Membrera. How about Baji Del Rosario? Oh, yes. And uh, back to back three points, huh? Doug Kramer pa. Chris Chu also. Pretty much that has been the story for Ateneo um, this season 67 That's so correct. far. And that is the kind of character that this team has built. Of course, galing na rin sa championship yung uh, team na ito. 
Dalong. guys that have played together. Dalong sunod na stiff. Correct. Last year finishing second to the FEU team. So definitely may unity at yung, uh, yung character nito makikita, makikita mo lalong lalo sa mga situations like this. Foul on Totti Almeda on a previous play. But G loses possession, tries to save it. It will stay with the Blue Shirts. They're looking good at the 227 mark, Ronnie. That's correct. Kalei Tonolio on the bench. You can see if Escalona will finish the game here. Para sa Blue Eagles. Another offensive foul ball. Dami tayo dito ng offensive yes, foul. Yes, not giving up for the fighting Maroons. Kaya naman, fighting Maroons ang tawag sa kanila. Pero itong Ateneo, very smart in running their place. Of course, hindi kasali yung offensive foul na yun. But they have protected this lead well. A lot of guys, tama yung sabi mo, samang good. Stepping up for Coach Sandero at Pakotsaga. You'll be fighting Maroons are hoping to be winning Maroons here in the ballgame. But they are held by 13, though. Last year also had oh. a 1-6 start in the 2003 season. As we see, Nestor what David. What a move. Yes, cutting the lead of Ateneo to 11. I see a very bright future for this kid. And look, see Nestor David. Yeah, yeah. Nestor Benito. Oh, Nestor Benito. Yeah, and you talk about, let's say, as we see, Paolo Pogia dismantling a double team on that sequence. Really amazing big out. Yes. How much confidence he has shown in his outside shots, his ability to take over the game with his muscle. You can shoot the touch now. He's got soft hands for a big guy. And among most of the criticisms of Paulo Bogia, even from the Ateneo alumni, would be that they would wish that he would play tougher, the more skill stern. But you can see in season 67, Already seasoned, already a veteran in his own right. Has really evolved into a very, very good stat man for the Ateneo team. The veteran touch is still there. Tatagdagan ng ano eh, yung mga gandang matibay na galaw sa loob. And speaking of tough moves inside, again, back-to-back hit from Nestor David. 69 seconds remaining. And it's down to an 11-point lead. You don't want to relax. <laughs> and make no mistake about it. They want to relax, sending L.A. Tenorio to the fray. Coach Sandy wants to finish this game strongly para sa Blue Eagles. Nice pass by Maggie Escalona to Paolo Pogia. The cool of science assist brought to you by Nascafe Ice. Do the move. Another guy who also has impressed me a great deal is JC in fact, Showing oh, that yeah. he can handle the ball, bringing that ball, helping it to see uh, L.A. Tenorio setting up the offense for Ateneo. And again, also is um, in one of those who has improved. Leaps and bounds. Oh, 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 oh. Nagkaroon ng poste, ng galaw na poste. Si Abby Santos ba? Ang uh, graduate yes. na rito. Totoo yun. Okay. JC and Tal used to combine talents with J.R. Reyes and giving the transquires a lot of championships in the SA. SA in the junior division. Almost a double-double for Books. Paulo Bugea, 78 points, 8 rebounds, 2 assists. Two blocks, our Milo Energy player of the game, the winning energy, lives on. Ganda nung team ng Ateneo this season. This will be the second time that Mugli will be named as the top performer. Meron dyan si Larry Fonacher, meron kasi si Jason et al. But Mugli really showing that the 2004 season is his for the taking. Pero ang dami, and we have to mention this, Ronnie. Marami dito rin. May mga supporting roles. Ang ganda ng pinakita. Dito sa laro na to, L.A. Tenorio really settling his troops and orchestrating very well in previous games. But G. Del Rosario played very crucial in the last game. I agree. I have a partner. Magnum Embrere against La Salle was very key. It was very big. And that's what this team is all about. That's why it's a team. So far in season 67. Coach Landy preparing all of his players very, very well. Para pag may mga opportunities and situations na kailangan bunutin. They will all be ready. And they have shown that this afternoon they are ready for the season. There is no mystery why they are 3-0 and, well, with the effective win, 4-0. But the San Cervantes still fighting inside and coming this lead now. 11 once again at the 52 second mark. Ken Baracoso now in the ballgame. Look at this partner, Coach Sandy looking ahead. Perhaps, just maybe, they might be losing Larry for the share for, for the, uh, some, some more games. Preparing Ken Baracoso for uh, the battle ahead. Back 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 to back hits for Josan Cervantes to cut the lead down to nine at 69 60. Baracoso drives inside. Dishes it off to Paolo Bugia, but there was a foul before that. Baptism <laughs> of fire coming from Ira Buiko. Solid foul given up by Buiko. 
but of course, a star player. Oh, yes. Together with the Jai Reyes. Oh, Jai Reyes, the younger Medina. brother of Intal. And the uh, And that the small guy with the big heart, Medina. Oh, the uh, juniors yes. who powered the Ateneo team last year over the Adamson, uh, maybe Falcons. Met by uh, Kanutai and Johnston. Tama. We're now playing. Para kay Coach Luigi Trino. And playing very well. Yes, who dealt Lasal a big loss yesterday. What a game yesterday. Oh, yes. Much talked about. Ito, yun. Regardless of who won in that game, it was an exciting game from start to finish. Oh, yes. Big win for uh, Coach Luigi Trino, of course. You know, the games are just going to get better here in season. Definitely. 67 as teams are jockeying for position for team standing supremacy. 23 seconds, and Ateneo will go up 4 and 0. Oh, Ronnie, and prospects for UP, please. Right now, UP, after this game, will go down to 0 and 4 in a tie with Enyo at the bottom. Positive thing for them. Marvin Cruz is playing quite well. Let's oh. see, very that nice three pointer from the outside. They have to take it from this game. Use this as a springboard dial. I think this is the best game they have played so far in this season 67. You're right about Marvin Cruz. We are so happy to see him. Oh, oh. you know that that uh, step in his oh, oh. yes, a genuine step. Yeah, yes, that sort of awareness that he has been so known for. Marvin Cruz was about to be named to the under 18 uh, RPG, pero an injury, an injury hit him. Yeah, yeah, trying to make a recovery. And uh, this afternoon, it's a fine, fine afternoon for the young Marvin. Cruz. Uh, if I may mention, Ronnie, every time. You know, UP is about to lose, and they're behind, like, at seven points. And you hear the big dome rocking, you think it's the winning team. It's, <laughs> you know, the, the cheering squad of UP is still right there. Blaring <laughs> in the background. So, yeah, every time, you support them. You'll never wait, maybe win or lose itong kanilang mga favorite players. Na Finishing touches. Marvin Cruz almost, but not quite. But a good game. An upside for the UP Fighting Maroons. 72-63 is our final score of this ball game. Paulo Bogia, as we mentioned earlier, Milo Energy player of the game. And, uh, well, that's all she wrote for us here at the Big Dome. As you see, the final score, nine points, the biggest lead of the game. I'm Boom Gonzalez and the rest of the hardworking men and women of ABS-CBN Sports. Thank you for joining us. And